one. That one, of course, uh, just a pencil portrait of uh, Joe Anderson. He's kind of been in, uh, as well with the Joe Anderson fan club for a while. I did a few pencil drawings for that one. This was one of the ones I, I, I really liked this one. I think this was the second one I did. And they used it for the cover of one of their newsletters. <coughs> This piece was actually uh, another one of those book cover or one of those covers that was created and um, actually never used. Um, I did this painting actually for the last convention that was here, um, Distant Shore 2, which was in uh, Burbank in 2000. And um, the art piece itself, the illustration, was kind of, I challenged myself to do a, a painting based on an episode that wasn't really one of the most popular ones, was maybe not one of the most successful as far as the episode itself went. So I wanted to kind of <clears throat> just take uh, the elements from the episode and do something interesting with it. Uh, this was the style I was working in, again, at the time of my non-Beauty and the Beast art, kind of using, starting to use more montage of different imagery rather than doing one scene. Um, this one was kind of fun because it's like I can look at it and see influences of different artists' work who I was studying at the time, so that was, that was kind of fun. But, it was going to be used for a cover of a, a calendar that they were making up at the time that I guess just never really quite got off the ground, but um, okay, it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. The Outsiders, 
was the other um, episode. They were originally supposed to be back to back, I think, when the series originally aired, but they got the, they got jumbled up somehow. But anyways, uh, another set made the novelization cover. Um, I was kind of feeling my way, like I said, I hadn't done many book covers before, but these were fun to do. Uh, yeah, Song of Songs. Uh, this one was kind of like. I felt like it was kind of given as a gift to me. I did this before the convention, I think it was in 95, LA convention. Um, came up with an idea for it kind of last minute, like a, a week before the convention. I had this photograph of Vincent, which is pretty much as it appears here, uh, with very dramatic lighting. I always wanted to do something with it, but um, just didn't really know what. And so I started playing around with it a little bit, and got, came up with this idea, this embrace and everything, found a, a complimentary picture of, of Linda Hamilton as Catherine, and Put them together, and um, the whole thing took about a week, which was really quick uh, for me at the time. And back when I brought it to the convention in LA to hang the art show and paint the work on it, yet it was finished like I think a night or two before the convention, and uh, it was it just came out really really quickly, and uh, it was just one of those really magic magic things. I can't point to anything technically that I'm really especially pleased with about it. It just seemed to kind of capture something special. 